Hi, this is Novel Professor. In this video, I will show you how you can host my WhatsApp server on DigitalOcean, which is a very famous cloud hosting platform where you can host your web applications and APIs at a very reasonable cost. And it is very easy to deploy your application on this platform. So in this video, I will show you how to do that. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to sign up for an account using your email, Google or GitHub. I've already signed up, uh, so I will just log in directly. Let me log in. Okay, so when you log in, it will take you to your projects and you will be creating your first project. One important thing to note is that before you create a virtual server, you have to add a payment method that is required. Without adding a payment method, it will not allow you to create any resource. So I've already done that. So now I can just click on this create button and choose the first option to create a droplet. So droplet is a terminology used in um, digital ocean to basically create a cloud server. So let me click on this option and it will take me for the uh, droplet settings. So here you can see it says droplets are virtual machines that anyone can set up in seconds. And then once that virtual machine is set up, you can install any software on it. So I will choose the default region. I will choose the default data center. For the image, I will choose Ubuntu, the latest version. And then for the droplet type, I will choose basic. And for CPU options, let me choose the cheaper one, which is the regular with SSD hard disk. And then in the uh, plans, I will not choose this $24 per month. Instead, I will just choose this $6 per month option, which will give me one gigabyte memory, one CPU and 25 GB SSD storage. And then I will not add an extra volume. I will not enable backups right now. For the password, I will just choose a static password. Let me create a password which meets the password policy. Okay. Now I will not choose any extra options. So then with this setup, it will cost me $6 per month. And then let me create the droplet. It will take only a few seconds to create the droplet. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, so this has been created. So now you can just click on it. And then you can go to the access menu and launch the droplet console. Okay, so now we're logged into our Ubuntu server. Now let's run the command to update the packages. Okay, so this will update all the uh, packages. After that, we can run the command to install Docker. So we'll type sudo apt install docker.io okay type y now it will install all the docker packages okay now docker is installed now we can uh, pull my docker image for the whatsapp server from the docker hub so let me type the command sudo docker run and we will run our server on port 80 so i will map the port dash p so the port on the host operating system will be 80 and the port inside the container is also 80 
and then I want to create a volume to store our uh, uh, data so I will type dash v data and inside the container it will be stored in the path slash app slash data so this will basically store the SQLite database which will store all the messages and then I want to create a volume for media that will be mapped to the container folder slash app slash media so this is for storing your images audio and video files that will be sent and received using my client and I'm creating these volumes in case you uh, shut down the container or your, you delete the container then the uh, files and the data will not be lost as it will be stored on the host operating system and then let's give a friendly name to our container so it will be easier to start and stop and manage through docker so WAS is the friendly name I'm giving and now the name of my repository so novel professor slash wa server this is the docker image name which you need to download so after that just click enter and it will start downloading my image from docker hub so the download is very fast on this server so it will take only a few minutes let the download be completed once the download is completed it will start running the server since we have given the docker run command so you see it's a very simple straightforward setup with just few steps you can have your own whatsapp server running in the cloud which is publicly accessible since this droplet gives us a, a public IP address okay so image has been downloaded and now you can see that it has been started on port 80 now it will connect to the whatsapp server to fetch a QR code let's wait for that so now I will use my existing Android phone where I have uh, the official WhatsApp client running I'll go to the menu and I will choose link devices and link a device and then scan this QR code so it's logging me in and also in the console you will see once I'm logged in you will see my uh, logged in username and mobile number so just wait for that login see now I'm logged into the server uh, now we're set up and uh, we can install my whatsapp client so let me do that now and show you how it works so as you know I have a whatsapp client for all the old uh, phones I created a Symbian version for Nokia S60 third edition phones and Nokia S60 fifth edition phones and Symbian 3 phones also I've created a J2ME version for Sony Ericsson and old Blackberry phones which can run Java applications but in this video I will show you the version which I created for my Blackberry 10 so for this one just open the browser and head over to my website nokiaforever.com nokiaforever.com just go to this site and here just scroll down where you see the Blackberry 10 version download this it's called novel messenger 1.006 click on it and it will download this file once it is downloaded just click on it and it will start the installation as you can see install accept and just wait for it to install and open it okay now here uh, you have to uh, type the mobile number which you used to log in so let me type the mobile number
okay now you can use my server if you don't want to set up your own server but uh, in this video I will show you how you can connect to your own server so for this uh, just go to your uh, uh, you know web console here you can see the IP address this is your public IP so you just need to put this public IP address in the WhatsApp client so let's do that let me type that address here so this is 138 138.68 .68 .68 228.68 and then click login so you see you are logged in and if you see the console it will also show you that here you you have logged in so you have logged in and now I will show you that you can send and receive messages from other whatsapp users so let me use my other uh, test phone where I can click on this I'll type my message hi and see uh, it will show in the console as you can see from this test phone hi message is received and it is also received here and now let me reply reply from blackberry sen and you see it is sent here also reply from blackberry and you can see that it is received and also someone can send you images let me send an image okay and the image will be received here and the image is uh, downloaded to the server as you can see it says here image received and this is the image you can see it and similarly I can send a image from the gallery I can use the camera to take a photo of this okay so upload is successful and uh, yeah the photo is sent as you can see and similarly you can uh, you know send audio and uh, video everything uh, works so that's it guys it's so easy to uh, set up your own server and install uh, my whatsapp client it will also show you all the whatsapp contacts you can click on a contact and initiate a conversation so it is very easy to set up and that's it for this video thanks a lot guys for watching see you in my next video